Hey guys, Lou Lombardi back at you in your face. Um, real quick, don't forget to check out the links uh, below my face here. <laughs> okay, got some good stuff for you. Uh, podcasts, my inner circle where you can jam and hang out with me. All kind of cool stuff, so check that stuff out. Uh, okay, so what are the top 10 rock movies of all time? Um, I'm going to give you my list, you tell me yours. Let's lay down a few ground rules first. First of all, this has to be a movie about a band or artist. They can be fictional, but it has to be a movie about a band or artist. Not just a movie with a great rock soundtrack, like Singles. Got it? Okay, that's a great great film, great rock soundtrack, but not really a movie about a band per se. Uh, it has to have had a theatrical release, so these like hundreds and hundreds of uh, documentaries on, on unauthorized documentaries on Amazon and stuff like that do not count, so don't mention, so we'll, let's leave those out. Uh, has to be more than a concert film, okay? Like The Last Waltz and Give Me Shelter have a lot of sort of documentary uh, aspects to them, but they are primarily concert films, so that's why they're not on my list. So again, we want to, you know, we'll do another thing on concert films at another time. Um, and it has to be a good film in its own right, okay? So let's just kind of go to that saying. So without further ado, I'm going to give you my top 10. I definitely want you to uh, get hit, you hit me back with your top 10. Leave a comment. Let me know. Okay, I'm going to go in reverse order, starting at number 10, Rockstar with Mark Wahlberg. Um, I think that a lot of people saw this movie and realized that there's a slight parallel between the characters in this movie and the story of Ripper Owens, who went on to replace uh, Rob Halford for a long time in Judas Priest. Uh, very cool movie if you haven't seen it in a long time. Also, it's one of Jennifer Aniston, I believe, best performances. Uh, Purple Rain. The Prince himself, a uh, classic film everywhere. Like every song on the album was like on the radio. It was like huge, amazing. Um, you can see, get to see Prince tear it up on stage on guitar. Uh, you get to see uh, some sort of uh, the inner workings of his mind a little bit on how he does things um, it, through a fictional character that he creates. So he's able to sort of tell his story uh, without, and, and it lets you sort of use your imagination to fill in the details. Uh, the Decline of Western Civilization part one and two. I cheated here. I put two movies in here at number eight. Um, they are, uh, if you've never seen them, they are great documentaries, disturbing, funny, um, thought-provoking. There is some uh, cool performances as well in them. And um, it's just a great look into those two eras, the punk era and the uh, LA heavy metal uh, uh, scene uh, as that was coming up. Uh, the pick of Destiny, all right? One of my all-time favorite uh, rock films. Uh, it, it, it's for so many great re reasons, it's, it's great. First of all, Jack Black is a co comedic genius. He's also a real musician, and he also can really sing. And him and Kyle wrote those songs. Um, they perform in the film. They're actually, you know, it's a kind of musical, but it's cool and it's funny, and Dave Grohl uh, plays the devil. So what more could you want? Um, uh, I have A Hard Day's Night, The Beatles, so you had to put a Beatles in there somewhere. Uh, the Story of Anvil. Yes, we rock, Anvil. A uh, heartbreaking, tragic, yet triumphant, uh, oftentimes funny story of the, the rock band Anvil and their multi-decade uh, search for uh, heavy metal stardom. Uh, if you've never seen it, see it. it, it it's it, it's, a, it's a real treat. You really enjoy it. Um, almost Famous, uh, directed by Cameron Crowe. Great film, um, a, a, a sort of a look inside that sort of 70s era hard rock scene, the Le Led Zeppelins, the Bad Companies, the Black Sabbaths, that, when that whole thing was going on. Although it is about a fictionalized band because Cameron Crowe did not want to get sued. Um, but uh, he says that it's loosely based on the, the experiences he had as a very young uh the youngest ever uh, Rolling Stones reporter. Um, lo lots of great aspects to it. Great acting. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman plays Lester Bangs, and it's very cool. You should check it out. Uh, the Doors, Oliver Stone's The Doors, uh, classic film, in just in terms of filmmaking, probably one of the uh, top best made movies on this list. Um, and it has Val Kilmer, probably the arguably his best performance ever. Uh, a lot of cool little inside uh, jokes with musicians that musicians would get, but are really funny. Anyways, um, they t did their research and tried to be as faithful as they could and yet tell a good story in about two hours or so. Check it out, The Doors. Uh, the Wall, okay, uh, this is often forgot of forgotten as a uh, as a as a rock film uh it, by this current generation because so many other great films have come out but it is an absolute classic it's dark and moody it is about the uh singer pinky who is you know 
sort of sort of like symbol or metaphor for the sort of Pink Floyd uh, thing, uh, the Pink Floyd Act band. Roger Waters, uh, uh, Sid Barrett, you know, the whole sort of sort of amalgam of all that sort of stuff. Pratt put into one character, disturbed rock star who is whacked out on drugs and thinking about his life and also putting it together in the larger picture of how we fit into society and how society tries to box us in. It's deep, it's heavy, it's dark. Make sure that you turn the lights down and crank up the sound system when you watch this one. And of course at the top of the list, my all-time favorite rock film of all time is This Is Spinal Tap. Uh, uh, arguably the most quoted uh, rock film of all time, might be even one of the most quoted films of all time, <clears throat> as in, uh, but this goes up to 11. <laughs> Um, it also is the film that started the phrase, the spinal tap moment. Ask any musician you know, have you ever had a spinal tap moment? And they'll go, oh, let me tell you. And I'll tell you about some crazy thing that happened to them in their band or on stage. Directed by uh, uh, Rob Reiner. Rob Reiner's in it. It's also the first time we hear the word rock. Documentary. <clears throat> so all that kind of got started with that. It's hila side splittingly hilarious. It's also very moving, touching the character. You get caught up in the characters. Um, when things happen to them, you feel for them. It's uh, superbly acted, improvised, by the way, by most of the cast. <clears throat> Some great guest appearances, some great uh, um, uh, character actors from that era pop up and, and do some very cool and funny things in it. Bruno Kirby is 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 comes to mind right off the top of my head. But if you haven't seen this, is Final Tap in a while. It's just go get it, get it on Blu-ray, keep it in your collection, and every once in a while just uh, whip, whip it out and enjoy yourself with that one. Okay, that is my top ten. What is your top ten? Please leave comments or uh, you know hit me back. Um, you can just message me back, no problem. Uh, let me know. I'm interested. Uh, let's get a conversation going about it. Uh, we recently did a podcast on there on, on this exact subject where you can hear what some other people thought about it and hear some great music as well. Uh, the link to that is below as well as the link to my inner circle. I hope you guys check all that out. My name is Lou Lombardi. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon.